When you think of a desert, you may imagine miles of sand, cactuses, and a bright sun overhead. You're probably picturing a very hot place. In reality, not all deserts are hot. In fact, the desert biome has nothing at all to do with temperature. Deserts are classified based on precipitation. Deserts are the driest biome. An area of land must get less than 10 inches of precipitation each year to be called a desert. The soil is very dry. Any rain that does fall evaporates very quickly, sometimes before it can even hit the ground. This lack of precipitation, whether it's rain or snow, is how scientists classify the desert biome. Deserts do not have to be hot. In fact, the frozen continent of Antarctica at the South Pole is considered a desert. Antarctica is a desert because it gets less than 10 inches of precipitation annually, even though it is very cold there. Even the sandy, cactus-filled deserts you were picturing earlier aren't hot all the time. Deserts usually have very low humidity. This means they don't hold heat well and temperatures change dramatically from day to night. Temperatures in the Sahara Desert in Africa often soar over 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and quickly drop below freezing once it gets dark. As you've probably guessed already, the desert is a very difficult place to live. Few plants and animal species can survive in this biome with so little water and such extreme temperatures. Living things that call the desert home have adapted to survive these harsh conditions. Many can store water for later, like cactuses and camels. Other animals are nocturnal. They are only active at night when temperatures are cooler. They burrow underground during the day to stay cool out of the sun. Desert animals include reptiles like snakes and lizards, scorpions, camels, meerkats, foxes, and hares. About a third of Earth is covered in desert. However, the world's deserts are growing. This process is called desertification. Climate change and even human activities and development can cause desertification. The Sahara Desert grows about 30 extra miles each year. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.